am Drew, and today we're going to look at some of my stoneware beers, or Kathy's stoneware beers, and the glass bottles that we have that go with them. So this one here, that Kathy found in the river, says B and B, which we believe means Boyd and Beard, because of our proximity to Boston. This bottle would date to between 1842 and 1848, when Boyd was in partnership with Beard. This is a Boyd and Beard mineral water bottle, long tapered collar, patent iron pontle, real early one, real nice one. Here's another Boyd and Beard stoneware beer. This one says Athenium on it. And we have some history on that. some other Boyd and Beard glass bottles. There's another one with the long tapered collar. The iron pontle. same bottle but with a blob top. Big B on the back. This bottle is never sold. Iron Pommel. We have some more stoneware beers. Boyd and Beard we could show. Boyd and Beard, root beer, with the blue on the shoulder and the blob top. Similar one, different lettering on it, Boyd and Beard, Root Beer, also with the cobalt top. And 
and that partnership lasted until I think 1852, uh, after which Luke Beard was on his own. And here's a Luke Beard bottle dated 1853. There's no blue on this one. Another bottle, L. Beard. Glass bottles by Luke Beard. This one with a long tapered collar. This one's very scarce, probably made only for one year or so. Real deep iron pottle on that one. I think we got this one from Carl. Union Glassworks, Philadelphia. And Luke Beard, mineral water is in a slug plate on the front. A lot of Philly sodas are made like that, the slug plate. It's a different one. Beard's Mineral Water. The big B in Boston on the back. Another iron pontal. Big iron pontal on that one. Another Luke Beard bottle. This one's like a ten pin shape. Iron pontal. This also comes with an open pontal. It's harder to find. And this one, this one's fairly common, Luke Beard, Howard Street, Boston. This bottle never sold. Also big iron pommel. Luke Beard died in 1854. Then, uh, there was a partnership with Josiah Beard and Moses Fairbanks. And we have some Fairbanks and Beard bottles. Here's one. F and B, Fairbanks and Beard, Howard Street, Boston. Smooth base. These come in a variety of different colors or shades of color. One that's more of an aqua hue. And lighter yet is this one.
<laughs> Thong way of beers. Fair Banks and Beard. Although this one has a spelling error. Actually, it says Fair Backs and Beard. Left the N out of Fair Banks. Fairbanks and Beard, Howard Street. On the Fairbanks and Beard bottles, here's one that we found in the river. Aqua Blob Top, Fairbanks and Beard, Boston. It says mineral water on the back. And here's a similar one that we found in the river. M. Fairbanks and Company, Boston. MF and Co. on the back, and our research leads us to believe this is 1872 to 1881, this bottle. This is a stoneware beer that Kathy found in the river, Pomeroy and Hall, from Springfield, Mass. Small size. This is a large size Pomeroy and Hall. We didn't find this one in the river. These are the Pomeroy and Hall glass bottles that we have to go with the stoneware beers. We didn't find these in the river either. The Pomeroy and Hall with the mug base, sticky ball pontal on that one. The olive amber blob top, big iron pontal on that one. This might be Westford Glass Company, made in Connecticut. This is another small stoneware beer we found in the river, H.F. Clark. He was from Chicopee. This is the small size. And this is a larger size that we didn't find in the river. This is another stoneware beer bottle that I picked up somewhere along the line. It says E-Beard. Uh, never heard of E-Beard. I can't find any research on E-Beard. Maybe it was a, a mistake. The form of this bottle is 1830s. Uh, as you can tell, it's different from all the other ones we looked at. So, if you have any information on E-Beard, please contact us. Thanks.